Since 1976, the New York Transit Museum has thrilled and delighted millions of people from New York and around the world. Whether enticed to catch all the trains you miss, the museum's very first and much beloved slogan, or inspired by our current award-winning exhibitions, nostalgia rides, and public programs, the Transit Museum has connected generations of people to this place and to one another through the lens of transportation history. While tastes and times may change, there is a constant, if ever evolving focus that has remained at the core, and some might say the heart of this institution for more than 40 years. That is the museum's education programs. Through exhibitions, public programs, school initiatives, family programs, and special events, the New York Transit Museum serves over 500,000 people every year, and the museum's education programs engage more than 60,000 people each year with exhibits for people ages two to age 102 and everyone in between. The New York Transit Museum perfectly encapsulates the mission of STEAM education. Science, technology, engineering, arts, and math are all vital components of the past, the present, and the future of mass transportation. Our educational tours explore complicated concepts like history, electricity, and city planning. The kids are all city kids in the Bronx, so they're always on the six train. They really can see the difference between what was long ago and what is today. I have an ICT class, I have ESL students, I have students with special needs, I have students who just came from different countries. They all appreciate the trip here at the Transit Museum because it's so visual, it's so tactile. It really connects to the curriculum because in science this year in third grade, we are learning about simple machineries, and it's really cool to see the outside and the insides of the trains here. Over 30,000 kids and teachers participate in Transit Museum school group visits annually. More than 90% of them are in elementary school and three quarters visit from New York City public schools. While studies in science may one day discover why so many people who are neurodiverse are drawn to transportation, we do know that since the day we opened our doors, they have been a part of the Transit Museum family. With that in mind, the museum has developed a whole suite of programs for our newer diverse visitors. Ready to Ride helps kids with disabilities learn to use the subway safely and helps them gain independence. Subway Sleuths, our award-winning after-school program, supports kids with autism spectrum disorders build the social skills they need to succeed in school and in life. I am nine years old and I did the Subway Sleuths three times. The F is my favorite subway line. Most of it is local and like Part of it is express. The A line, because it goes from Manhattan to Queens, and I would also get to see the view of the views of the city. The D train, because you know, the D train line always goes to my favorite stop, Atlantic Avenue Banquet Center. I believe the W train started around 2001. Um, it stopped in 2010 because of the budget cuts. <laughs> and our newly launched Transit Quest program keeps the learning and enthusiasm going for neurodiverse teens and young adults. His friends are not as enthusiastic about the subway as he is, so it's nice for him to be around other children that share that enthusiasm and passion. He really enjoyed making friends. Yeah. The Transit Museum is a great place for kids, all kids. It's fun, it's engaging, they make new friends, they learn about history, and they meet these children where they're at. New York Transit Museum education programs bring history, science, and art to life for students and teachers, adults and seniors, children and parents. Your support enables us to continue to share the story of how this city and region grew because of mass transit, and in so doing, allow young people now and in the future to continue to grow up with us. My oldest boy, when I asked him, you know, do you want to drive a train? He said yes. He wants to experience all of the different areas of the system, from bus driver to train driver to engineer, and he ultimately would love to be the chairman of the MTA. Go figure. <laughs>